welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I wanted to film a winter makeup routine because my routine does change drastically from summer and winter. Because as you guys know, my skin is really, really dry. So when I don't take care of my skin, then my skin ends up making my makeup look bad. And then if my makeup looks bad, then I have a horrible day. So I'm just gonna be showing you guys what my makeup routine consists of. And I did collaborate with Molly Brown to bring you guys this video. You guys will see the new products that they are coming out with that I'm very, very excited about because I haven't been able to talk about it, but I've been wearing it low key and you guys didn't even know. So yeah, make sure to stay tuned till the very end of the video because I am having a giveaway. So if you want to learn how to achieve this look and my winter routine and my winter tips and tricks, then definitely keep on watching. Do not forget to subscribe and let's go ahead and get started. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get started with the face now since it's winter time. I already have to deal with really, really dry skin, so I have to make sure I moisturize heavily, heavily, heavily. <laughs> I just say heavily. Um, before I apply my makeup, because if not, my foundation will literally crack. So I'm gonna start off with the Copper Complex Peptide. I've talked about this in my skincare video. It is so good. If you want to know what it's for and all the benefits, I will have the video linked down below. Once that is done, I'm going to be grabbing some under eye cream. You guys know this is my favorite one. This is the Jin Zing Refreshing Eye Cream to Brighten and Deep Puff. It literally does everything it says. The next and final step is going to be some moisturizer. This is the Aqua Bomb. I believe it's so good. I literally have been using this moisturizer for years. So next up for foundation, we have the Bobbi Brown Skin Long Wear Weightless Foundation with SPF 15, which is great. Um, it is also full coverage and oil-free shine. We love full coverage. And it's great that it's oil-free because I do tend to get oily in my T-zone area, and that's where my foundation slides off. Oh, wow. This is so full coverage. We love a good full coverage foundation. By the way, if you're wondering, I'm using shade Warm Beige. It is literally my perfect shade. Boop, 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 boop. That's as much foundation as a little section will ever get. I feel sorry for that section. This doesn't even count. This is like a little stripe. Next up for concealer, you guys know I have been obsessed with the Too Faced Born This Way Concealer. It is way better than the Tarte Shape Tape, in my opinion. Just because this one is way more hydrating, and I feel like it's way more full coverage. I don't know why, but my favorite part is blending. I just like seeing it get diffused. Now I'm grabbing the shade Warm Sand and I'm grabbing the Morphe E8 brush and I'm just going to be adding two little dots. Since it's the winter time, I love to look bronzed. Plus it just helps out my features and makes them stand out a little bit more. <gasps> Shut up, I got that on my wig. Oh, oh, oh. Oh, there we go, that's it. So now that we're done with all of the cream products, we're gonna go ahead and bake. I am using the Beauty Bakery Flower Better Not Bitter setting powder. I've talked about this before. I am obsessed with this powder. If you add foundation down your neck, do not forget to set that because I've done it before where I don't set it on my neck and then I like put on a shirt and it just like ruins the shirt. So always make sure to set your neck. I have never said that in my whole entire life. That just sounded so weird. Okay, now this might sound a little bit crazy because we don't usually do this, but we're gonna go ahead and set our eyelids with translucent powder. And now you're probably wondering like, why? I am going for a really like soft look today and I feel like the translucent powder kind of helps execute that. Um, whenever I don't set my eyelids, the colors really just pop and they're like in your face super vibrant. I'm not really going for that look. I'm going for like the soft winter glam glowy kind of look, you know? Now we're moving on to bronzer. I went back to my Patrick Star MAC bronzer. I cannot let go of this. I am obsessed with it. You know what? I feel like I'm going to be going back and forth with bronzers as well. But this one just makes me look like a bronzed goddess. So I'm going to be really light with the hand. This is my new favorite blush, you guys. This is by L'Oreal. It is the Paradise Enchanted Scented Blush. This one is in the shade Just Curious. It's like a really pretty, pretty, <laughs> pretty peachy color, and I feel like it's gonna like complement the wig. People say that blush doesn't make a difference, but I feel like it most definitely does make a difference because it kind of looks like empty here, like something belongs here. And that, my friend, is the blush. So now I'm going back into that Beauty Bakery powder and I'm just going to be chiseling out to the bottom over here. Awesome, perfect, cool. 
Cool. So next we have a highlight, and usually we would be like ending the video by now, <laughs> but we're barely halfway through it. Um, for the highlighter today, I'm using this Bobbi Brown Highlight and Dual Highlighting Powder Dual. Oh wow, Bobbi Brown, you are playing around, huh? <laughs> it makes it look like soft but still glowy, super super pretty. Okay, so now that we're finally done with the base, now we're gonna go ahead and move on to the ojitos. For today's eyes, we're gonna be using the Pretty Cool Palette from Dose of Colors. I've talked about these before. They are so freaking bomb. So this literally just comes with all cool tones, which is exactly what I'm going for since we're going for like a brown, smoky eye kind of look. The sun's already going down, so good thing that um, we're on the eyes right now. So the color I'm gonna be taking is this one right here. This one is Let's Chill. And I'm just grabbing the Makeup Shack T49 brush. And I'm going to begin by packing this color onto the lid. You guys see how pigmented this color already is? Imagine how pigmented it would have been if we wouldn't have set our eyelids with translucent powder. So now that it looks like this, we're just going to go ahead and start buffing out those edges. We're going to try to flick out this outer edge. So I know this is looking a little bit messy right now, but I need to connect the lower lash line with the top eye so I can really smoke out the entire eye. Now I'm grabbing more of that brown and I'm really deepening up the crease. I want the crease to be darker than the shade that is on my lid, just so it can add a little bit of more dimension instead of it just being flat, just one color. Okay, so now I'm going into the Desi and Katie palette and I'm gonna be grabbing that dark brown shade and I'm just going to be adding that on the outer corner. Now I'm not gonna bring it all the way in because I wanted to create kind of that like cat eye effect without us actually having to do a cat eye. I'm just grabbing any brush that has powder on it and I'm kind of going to help clean up this edge over here. All right, so we're pretty much done with this eye. Now I'm just gonna go ahead, pop on some lashes, do the other eye, and I'll be right back. Also, I'm just gonna add some mascara and liner to my lower lashes, you guys know the drill. And I'll be back to do the lips and another little, little surprise that I have for you guys. All right, so now we are done with the eyes. I only went ahead and added mascara, no liner. I felt like it just looked more soft more subtle. I really like the brown smoky eye and it's kind of lifted and the lashes are kind of winged out. I'm obsessed with this brown eye paired with the wig. Now what I have been waiting to talk about is the lips. I have been wearing this gloss for like the past week and a half and everybody has been going crazy asking me what it is and I wasn't able to talk about it and I'm finally able to talk about it and I'm very very excited that I partnered up with Bobby Brown to bring to you guys um, their new collection. So this is Bobbi Brown's new Crush Liquid Lip. I am obsessed with these lippies. There are way too many for me to show you, but I'm definitely going to swatch these for you guys. So there are 14 shades. They are kind of like in the pink, red family, like in the nude, mauve tones, which is great because you can use these all throughout the year. Oh my god, this formula is so creamy. Me just swatching it on my hand it feels so moisturizing so this is the first color i'm showing you guys this is hot cocoa this one is such a like pretty kind of mauvey brownish gloss so so gorgeous so this next color we have right here is called cool beats this is like perfect for like a red wine dark like cranberry lip and you don't want to use liquid lips in the winter time because with the weather they are going to get a little bit crusty and you want your lips to be hydrated so this is perfect this formula is just bomb okay let's move on this next one is smoothie moo super pretty this next pinky one is called bittersweet this next one is in a jam it's a little bit darker than the previous one this one is so pretty this one is more of a neutral mauve these kind of have like purple undertones so this one's more like on the pinky side okay so now we're going to move on to the like Ooh. <gasps> wow, this one is so freaking pigmented. Wow. This one is in the shade Mango Mood. It's a really, really vibrant kind of red, orangey kind of color. This next shade right here is called Big Apple. This is my favorite 
favorite red out of the whole bunch this one is just so pretty especially with the dark lip liner and then you add this it just adds like a really pretty ombre effect and with it being moisturizing and it's just like a really glossy ombre it just looks so beautiful Ugh, love it so this next one is called cherry crush it's a little bit lighter than big apple which i like if you're not trying to have like that super intense red then this one is for you this one is like a pink coral color. It is so pretty. This one is in the shade Main Squeeze. This next one right here is called Peach and Quiet. This is kind of like a pinky, corally color. It is really, really pretty. It's more on like the Barbie pink side, but I really like it. This next one is also one of my faves. This is a like perfect mauve color. It is neutral. I feel like this one would go perfect with any skin tone. This one is in the shade Hippie Shake. Hippie Shake. All right, so we are down to my top two. This next color is in the shade Juicy Date. It is so pretty. This is like my everyday color. And then what I did also, where you guys were going crazy, is I added some of this, and this is in the shade Lychee Baby. This is my favorite one out of all of them. This one deserves a huge swatch, okay? We're gonna do a huge swatch for this one. Lychee Baby is just like a perfect pinky peachy nude. I love it, and when these two are combined, I love them together. So Lychee Baby and Juicy Date are freaking gorgeous together with or without lip liner. So here are the swatches of clothes. Look at the sheen, it's just so glossy and moisturizing. Just by even looking at the sheen, you can tell that these are really moisturizing and you can tell that I need to moisturize my hands. <laughs> so here are all 14 shades. The swatch, they're very pigmented, has a really like soft gloss to it and they're so moisturizing. You can purchase these at Sephora, in store or online. They are only $26. And guess what, before I even put on my lip, Guess what? Bobby Brown was nice enough to give the entire collection to one of you guys. All you have to do is comment down which one is your favorite shade, and I'll be choosing one of you guys to win the entire collection. I cannot wait for you guys to rock them. Now let's go ahead and put this on my lips. I'm just gonna go ahead and add some lychee to the top. All right, guys, so that is it for my winter makeup routine. Oh, and also, the Bobby Brown, front, the, 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 the Bobby Brown Foundation does come in 30 shades, and I feel like it does match on your tones really nicely because it's so hard for me to find a foundation that matches my olive undertone, and this one was perfect. I didn't have to mix any of them. It does have, like, a matte but yet, like, hydrating finish, so I don't know. I love it. I love how I look glossy. I love the eye. I look like a mint chocolate chip latte right now <laughs> um, but do not forget to comment down what was your favorite shade of lippies hope you guys enjoyed this video hope you guys have a wonderful rest of your day and i will see you guys later bye guys